What is up everybody, Dan in the Fireman here. We went over motorcycle helmets under $200 and you guys really liked it because you guys are looking for some good safety gear. So now we're gonna be going over motorcycle gloves under $55. Now this is gonna be something that I really wanna push out there. Get some gear guys. And I'm trying to find the best stuff for you. So here we go, let's jump right into it. So we're on Get Lowered Cycles website right now. And the first one is going to be the Scorpion Divergent Glove. Now, the reason why I picked this one, cause it is about $40 and it does have some good protection. So it is ventilated. So it's more like a summer or three season. If you're in Southern Arizona, it does have that moldable knuckle armor. You can see it right here. Now this is not super hard, but it's not super soft. So it will take some of that impact to those knuckles. Cause when you flail around with physics after a crash, you're going to hit your knuckles. You definitely don't want to be breaking any of these things. Cause that's going to make it very hard for you to work or do anything with your hands. Um, one other thing is that it's double stitch. So if we look at the palm here, you'll see right on the right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll put in a little arrow next to it. Uh, it's double stitch. So when you guys are looking for motorcycle gloves, even if you don't get these ones, when you look for them, make sure they're double stitched because in a crash, you don't want just one lining of stitching to basically hold in the armor or hold in the extra padding. You want to have double stitch because it's not just about the leather itself. It's not just about all the other materials. It's like, how do they hold together? So make sure you get something that is double stitched. You guys see that I'm saying it over and over again. Um, one thing is uh, it does have mesh. So let's go ahead and go to this little screen right here. So you have mesh on the upper back. So when you're, when you're riding, you're gonna get mesh going through your gloves it's going to hopefully keep your hands nice and cool. Uh, so that's why I say it's more like a summer or a three season. If you're in Southern Arizona or other places where you can pretty much get away with mesh gear year round. Uh, another thing is that it does have touch screen capabilities. So on the tips of the fingers, you're going to have touch screen capabilities. And that actually helps out. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, don't be playing on your motorcycle or, you know, your phone and all that stuff. But guys, guess what? You know, we all use phones for either music or, you know, GPS systems. So it's really good to be able to just tap it real quick instead of really messing with it. And if you're really messing with it while you're riding, not a good idea. You should just only, you know, change things at stoplights, at stop signs or pull over too. So I use my phone uh, while I'm riding uh, when I'm at a stoplight or stop. So make sure you guys do that too. So the next one we're gonna be doing is the Cortec Bully Ventilated Short Cuff Leather Gloves. And I picked the brown just because I think brown looks really cool and I like the, the offset type stuff. So here's gonna be the bigger picture here. So it's gonna be summer or three season once again because of the ventilation, but uh, leather does hold in uh, warmth a little bit easier. So you're gonna probably get a little bit warmer with these gloves. So that might actually help you out in the winter time. It does have soft knuckle armor inserts. You can kind of see it right here. And you know, that's gonna do some type of uh, impact resistance. It's a lot better than not having it. So definitely have that. And also, once again, as you guys can see, it's double stitch and you have all these different areas. So this spot right here, a lot of people were like, well, why is there double stitching right here? Well, that's mainly to um, put a little bit more fabric or leather or whatever it is on this part right here. So when you're gripping the handlebars, it's gonna hopefully uh, lessen the vibrations. Uh, so that's gonna help out a little bit. Then also this spot right here. Now this is called a TPU slider and that's gonna be on the palm. So remember when we're out crashing, hopefully we're not, but when you crash, you put your hands out. Well, this is gonna help it to where it's gonna start sliding and reduce some of the abrasion and impact to your palm. So that's gonna be really helpful. But man, there's so much stitching. There's a lot of ventilation here. That's really good. Also, you see the little black spots that is going to be for the touch screen. So that's really important if you want to use your phone. Also, you see on the outside right here on the, uh, the pinky, um, that is more fabric, more leather so that when you do slide, it's gonna hopefully hold up. And then once again, it is double stitched. Really good stuff. Um, remember guys, make sure it's double stitched. Make sure it's the right glove for the season and then uh, make sure you have some protection involved. And if you really use your phone, make sure it has uh, phone capabilities. So we're gonna jump into more of, um, not winter style, but this is gonna be a little bit more winter-y. And this is gonna be the Joe Rocket Britain gloves. Now, uh, Britain, Britain, uh, unsure about that, but you see there's no ventilation on this one. So this is gonna be a little bit warmer. So it's gonna have a waterproof insert, uh, a padded palm. So let's look at the palm section. You can see the whole padding right there, the little zigzag. So it's gonna be padded. So once again, that's gonna be for that uh, dampening of the vibrations. Also, when you hit have the impact, hopefully it's gonna hold up. But what I noticed with a lot of the padding on motorcycle gloves, it's just like a little fluff, like in a pillow. 
Um, so you really want to make sure if you want to have armor, make sure it is hard armor. This stuff right here will shred um, if the leather gets compromised. So hopefully this is good leather. It seems like it's really good leather. Uh, it has a knuckled uh, armor. So let's go back to this right here. Now this is that hard knuckle. So this is actually going to be a lot better than the other two when it comes to the knuckle. Um, well, let's go ahead and scroll that back. Not a lot better, but it's going to be better. The other ones were a little bit more soft. This one's more of a hard one, so it's going to have more of an impact resistance. I really want to touch back on this palm right here. So you're going to have, um, like I said, it's going to be padded. It's not necessarily there for protection. It's going to be padded for vibration resistance. It does have a waterproof insert, so that's going to help out when it comes to warmth, when it's raining and getting a little crazy. You see the little power button on the index finger? That is going to be also for the touchscreen capabilities. So that's actually really good. Those are the things that I look for when it comes to motorcycle gloves is I want them to be relatively inexpensive because you start to replace them quite a bit, especially if you're using them a lot. I mean, the knuckles or the fingertips start to uh, wear out and start to rip. So that's not a good thing. Also, if you have stitching between the fingers, that's no good. Uh, if we go back to the core tech, you can actually look at the size chart. So you actually can learn what uh, or how to size your fingers and your hands to the gloves um, on Get Lord Cycles website. So once again, if you want to check out any of these things, I will have the links in the description. And thank you so much, Get Lord Cycles, for being so supportive of this channel. Um, they didn't ask me to do this, guys. I really want to just give you guys uh, good options for motorcycle gear. And I'm utilizing Get Lord Cycles website because they have a pretty good selection. Once again, uh, if you'd like to buy anything, the links are going to be in the description. It is an affiliate link, so it does help with the channel. If you're buying gloves anyways, might as well use the affiliate link. No extra cost to you, and it helps out the channel. Thank you so much to these patrons right here for making things possible. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out the video about the helmets that are under $200, check it out right here down below and uh, I'll be seeing you guys around.